Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trend 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is the 3rd of June, Monday morning. Um, if you think it's been a little bit hazy, milky-looking uh, sky here as of late in the eastern half of the country, uh, you're correct. Um, there's some big wildfires burning up in Alberta, Canada, and a lot of that smoke is uh, traversing uh, much of the country. So it'll come in waves here, uh, where you get really, really thick smoke, uh, hazy sky and then it actually clears out. Uh, this model animation on the right shows the next uh, day or two here. Again, uh, really thick smoke up there in the upper Midwest coming off of Canada. Uh, and then again, you can see it uh, clearing out here in the, in the Northeast as a cold front's uh, pushing that hazy, milky, fiery sky uh, to our south and east. Uh, but it may come back here uh, in a couple of days as the, uh, you can see here again, a little bit moving back in the Northeast. So the good news is there's gonna be some rain uh, up in that area, but again, uh, year-to-date rainfall in Alberta hasn't been overly dry, um, you know, slightly below average, uh, but again, just doesn't take much this time of year to get some big fires up in that uh, piney forest up in uh, Alberta in the northwest part of Canada. If we look at the uh, rainfall here uh, over the next couple weeks, again, we're getting some relief here in Alberta, Canada. Um, again, where the fires are in the northern half of the state, uh, eh, spotty, but at least uh, some relief here uh, hopefully help uh, put out these uh, these wildfires in Canada. Uh, looking at tornadic activity across the U.S., it's uh, pretty much skyrocketing. We're getting very close to the uh, top of the scale here. Uh, may uh, diminish here a bit, uh, so we're probably not going to set a record year here, but um, certainly way above average, uh, approaching the... Uh, uh, 80th percentile here so 816 plus tornadoes across the US this year which again is uh, well above average uh, for this this point in the season if we look at uh, the severe weather outlook uh, not as extreme as we've seen here the last couple weeks uh, some uh, slight thunderstorm tornadic risk uh, in the plains moving into the upper Midwest and then eventually midweek into the Ohio Valley mid-Atlantic uh, begin but not looking as severe as we had been as of late uh, looking at uh, potential here, tropical system number two, uh, hurricane centers watching a, a system in the southwest uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, models keep this barely, uh, might become a tropical storm, and maybe for a day. Um, so again, this is going to be another one of these uh, weak systems that uh, be lucky to keep its name for a day if, and if the hurricane center does indeed name it. Uh, track would be toward uh, uh, Mexico and uh, south Texas and then ultimately into the, the south central Gulf. Uh, but again, not looking for anything major here, but might get another name here uh, this week. This week overall here, uh, 3 through 9 June, um, these are high temperatures, uh, trends on the right and uh, rainfall on the left. Uh, cooler than last year for this week, uh, still fifth warmest in 30 years nationally. Hotspot's going to be in the uh, upper Midwest and Plains, uh, parts of the southeast, but uh, cooler in the Ohio Valley and cooler in the uh, southwest here in terms of averages for the weeks overall. A little bit of a very cold start actually in the east uh, this week, but then it warms up pretty dramatically. Rainfall, we'd say, is the wettest in six years, second wettest in 30 years, uh, again with a lot of rain there in uh, parts of the south central U.S., Little Rock, Memphis, uh, and those areas. Not as dry, actually a pretty dry week here in the, the northeast, uh, not as much uh, rainfall, so we'll take, it, we'll take it a little cooler and drier uh, in the northeast. Next week, 10 through 16 June, again, uh, slightly above average along the east coast, and uh, again, high temperatures uh, well below average in the, throughout the central U.S., uh, rainfall, again, still what is in 15 years, second what is in 30 years nationally. Uh, temperature is coolest in five years, 14th warmest in 30. So nothing off the scale in terms of extreme hot and dry, but uh, hot spot's probably going to be the, the west coast uh, here again next week. If we look at the uh, world June, uh, these are weather trends for June uh, for the month overall, our expectation. Again, trends versus last year. Here in the U.S., uh, much of the country is going to be cooler than last year, pretty hot June last year. Still seventh warmest in 30 years here nationally, but again, number one wettest in 30 years. Just a kind of a slightly cooler uh, but wet pattern for sure. Hot spot, uh, dry spot, again, probably the Pacific Northwest and the Southeast is again, uh, they've been hot and where you've been hot and dry, you tend to kind of keep that pattern and with the warm waters in the Gulf and off the Southeast coast, we're gonna put a big high pressure ridge uh, there in the Southeast. So the pattern we've had out of late, probably gonna hang on here in June. Uh, so again, hot spot again, could be the, the Southeast, uh, hopefully get some rain, uh, but again, uh, where you're hot and dry, you probably remain hot and dry here for the near term. Um, we're um, only a couple weeks here away from uh, Father's Day, but uh, the early outlook suggests it's going to be the coolest in five years, ninth coolest in 30 years, and third wettest in 30 years. So kind of a coolish wettish national uh, Father's Day we'll see here on June 16th. Um, I thought this was a pretty cute little picture here, a uh, dad and his son uh, growing a tree, and then uh, obviously some 20, 30 years later, a big tree and little girls swinging in the tree. So uh, with that, folks, we hope you have a, a great week, and we will be back here this time next week.